welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and if you're new here, I create solo travel vlogs of Europe. We were exploring the museum at Palazzo Vecchio, we as in my friend and I. Palazzo Vecchio is the main symbol of civil power for the city of Florence. And apologies if I mispronounce the title of this museum. It started the construction of the fortress part in 1299 and this hall that we see, which is Salone di Cinquecento, is the Hall of the 500, which was built in 1494. The hall is the largest and most important room in terms of artistic and historical value and it's pretty impressive because it's got a height of 18 meters. I was super impressed to say the least about the impeccable detail work and finesse of each mural and visual piece in this room. The whole museum was beautiful, definitely worth it. I can't show you all the murals because I didn't want this video to get flagged. A lot of them contained nudity, which I think was appropriate for the era and how they did artwork, but yeah, we're not gonna show it here. I wanna say thanks to visitflorence.com for some additional information and research about the Palazzo Vecchio Museum. We're having lunch up on the rooftop, a view on our rooftop. It's inside the Hotel Medici. It's a pretty good view. To be honest this meal wasn't the best there's much better in Florence and believe me Italian food is one of my favorite with the simplicity of ingredients and richness of how the ingredients taste as well but I preferred my host food it was just simple food like this fresh clam from the market and pasta and learning about the different garlics of the region okay let's go back to the day Go inside and take a video for your for your videos of all the desserts. Okay. It's like nougat. So it's an almond paste and it's yeah. got pistachio inside and then it's got the big jam inside. You're about to watch the Calcio Storico Fiorentino in Florence with me and apologies for that pronunciation and please keep in mind this was filmed in 2022 so the results of 2023 may be different. Before the game began, there was a parade of each neighborhood and to make their presence known in the city before the match began. Even children dress up and they are flag tossers. When we arrived to the arena, I had on a white t-shirt and I quickly realized I was going to be cheering for the opposing team, but standing in the stadium side of Santa Cruz. The right t-shirt on now. <laughs> So luckily the family friends I was with let me borrow the shirt he had bought for his son as a souvenir so I wouldn't be getting hassled and I don't even know what would have happened if I would have had a white t-shirt on in this huge blue stand. I'm so thankful for that t-shirt. synopsis of this event, it's a combination of rugby, football, wrestling, MMA with some rugged men in historical costume. It dates back to the 16th century where the four historical neighborhoods of the city of Florence, so Santa Crucia, Santo Spirito, Santa Maria Novella, and San Giovanni compete for basically bragging rights and apparently a Chianiana calf, which is a white cow, and I definitely know I mispronounced that. And if you've ever watched any kind of European football, or as we say in Canada, soccer, you can guess how passionate the people of Florence were in supporting their neighborhood. I was so lucky my host was ahead of the game and found us tickets because you cannot buy these tickets online. You have to go to a box office within Florence, so you kind of have to be in the know to know about the game and be in the know to get the tickets in time. 
The smoke stuff looks cool, but wow, it smelled toxic. I was covering my mouth under my shirt as it took a while for the wind to blow it away. It was released when they were welcoming the Santa Cruz team on the field and again, just making their presence known. The best part about this match, in my opinion, is that the match takes place in front of the historical Santa Cruz church. It was a little bit of a parallel for me in feeling because we're in front of this stunning view of the church with the blue sky, it was a warm day, but I was watching a wrestling match and men basically inflict pain on one another to try and chase after a ball. I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it. allowed to do anything you need to get there and you may see some yellow and orange people on the field those are actually paramedics because many of the men were about to pass out from the hits knocks punches kicks that were being thrown it's quite aggressive you're also allowed to sit on an opposing team member until a goal is scored where basically the field is reset I did find this to slow the pace of the actual game down a bit and involve less players to be on the pit because they were either punched out, too tired, or basically being sat on by an opposing team member. I must admit, at times I was watching with one eye open and one eye closed, or I would just look up the church and say, wow, beautiful blue sky and beautiful church. And I wasn't quite sure how I got myself there and what the heck I was watching. It's definitely a violent act, but it was also really, really cool to be part of something that's from the 16th century and that Florence has continued after all these years. So from a historical perspective, I was pretty stoked to be involved. The fight has ended. That was the weirdest thing I've ever participated in. Yeah, I'm doing my little vloggy vlog. But Santa Cruz show won. We were wearing the correct shirts. Champion! You want to be in my vlog? Yeah, I want to be in your vlog. Super want to be in your vlog. This is Big Dog. Roof, roof, roof. <laughs> Barbecue King from Canada. And I also steak and grill and burgers. And um, <laughs> uh, look for the podcast. Look for the Big Dog podcast. And Anna. no vegan food. <laughs> and check out Anna. Yeah, no vegans. I don't do vegan food. Don't so if ask. you want meat, you can go see him. Otherwise, hang out with me. Tonight's Fiorentina steak in Italy, kids. <laughs> hello, hello. Ciao, 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 ciao. <laughs> morning friends I feel like I am serving you all bits of a tea party I've got me skirts on my hat and my fancy sunglasses I'm feeling very posh today but that's because we're going to the, the Burberry Gardens the one site and attraction that left on my list to see here in Florence and I did try to go as you saw earlier in my vlogs that I did try and go um, on a Monday, but they're closed the first Monday of every month. So it is 8.30 a.m. There is one other person inside the park right now that I have to walk to to get to the Beverly Gardens. But I'm hoping that a lot of people won't be there and that the heat will just slowly come because it's supposed to be another 31 degrees, probably stupid humid. And right now it's only about 24 or it's getting to 24 this hour. Here's a little park. This has been my commute every day into the city center. Pretty spoiled. Um, and it's nice because it is right next to the Bobley Garden. I also am hoping that my allergies do not flare up so crazy. And yesterday, man, I just had like, not the day, you know? I just had a, wasn't my day so I stayed home almost all day kind of tinkering on the computer later in the evening I went out and got gelato just to get a little bit more of a walk-in and fresh air 
quick review of this gelato shop. It was three euros versus two euros, but they do have vegan flavors, which I didn't notice till after. Very good. And today I'm feeling so much better because I had a good sleep. I feel like sleep is literally like God's get God's medicine. Like <laughs> you just need to sleep a little bit more often. Okay, my arm's hurting because I forgot my little stick vlogging, but thanks for joining me. Let's put the shade back on. See you in the bubbly gardens. We are officially inside the bubbly gardens. It costed 22 euros. So I figured I'm very lucky to have stayed free in Florence in terms of accommodations. I will spend my money that I don't have right now on <laughs> experiences. And what I mean I don't have is I gotta get home and edit some vlogs and get some work done. There is not a single tourist. Like, come on now. I have this freaking place to myself. Folks, it is so worth waking up for. I didn't even wake up, the birds woke me up. Wow, okay, I didn't bring the right camera battery. This vlog's gonna be cut short. I didn't bring an extra one either. So, you're gonna get little snippets, but not the full deal. Just know, early morning is much better, and it's beautiful here. And here, folks, we have the Fountain of Neptune. Garden's only at 8.15. But I think some people had too much vino last night. All right, friends. I know that Florence has been without a lot of rain. Wow, that's full sweat. <laughs> it's hot. But I'm just so thankful it's not busy right now because I know later there will be so many tour groups of like 40 people. Because again, just me, myself, and I. We just came up these little stairs. I just filmed right down there and you've come up this little gentleman's pavilion the view the fountain this is the kind of italian magic i was looking for wow, wow, wee, wow. to say goodbye my camera's dying i do think it's worth coming to the bubbly gardens for just the pure view of this tuscan hill behind me still part of florence a little bit outside of the city center my camera's about to die so we're gonna have to end it here we'll catch you another time thanks for joining the florence vlog and if you haven't subscribed please do or buy me a coffee because i'm tired already <laughs> I'm not tired, but I could use another one. The espresso in Italy is amazing. So buy me an espresso, keep this vlog going, and I hope you have an amazing day. <laughs>